Hi, this is Joni, holistic health teacher, coach, guide, consultant. I'm remiss with my video schedule as life has been maxed out. Lots of exciting projects in the works and much more. But as I push through the long days and weeks and months, I find myself, even as a teacher, having to remind myself to continually come back to my breath. Any teacher in integrity will always come back to being a student themselves. So as things progress, I take myself back to the basics on the daily right alongside you. So with that, and you might want to write this down somewhere, the breath is the binding agent between the body and the mind. Write it on a sticky note, put it on your bathroom mirror so that you see it in the morning and at night. I use that with many of my clients. It's an excellent tool, those sticky notes. <laughs> Um, but you've heard me speak on the body and listening to the body quite a bit on this channel. I can link that video in the description below as well. And you've heard me speak on the breath as well. So the breath can literally help us get out of our minds and into our bodies. Our monkey minds will chatter endlessly about everything under the sun. If we let them, we can totally go down the spiral, right? Go down the rabbit hole about whatever. And this generally doesn't serve us well. While dropping into the body and engaging with our energetics and mechanics has proven to be much more beneficial. I don't know if that quote came directly from one of my teachers, but I do know I snagged it from a yoga psychology training with Ashley Turner, who is a well-known longtime yoga teacher and licensed therapist in Los Angeles. So just in case, I want to give her credit where credit is due. But my point is, especially when we feel we have no time to keep our practices in place, that's exactly the time to keep our practices in place and to use our tools and our techniques to remain grounded in our purpose. Breathing practices, no matter who the hell out there in high performance world has rebranded them as their own, they're rooted in the yoga practices. Sometimes they're taught in the studios where you go to do the physical practice of yoga, the asana practice, but sometimes they're not. And if you don't know anything about breathing practices, also known as pranayama, that's okay. It can be super simple, so stay with me. There are many different breath practices with different purposes, but what it all really comes down to, much like the physical asana practice does, it's all about setting your parasympathetic nervous system to more of a rest and relax response, taking us out of initiating from a reactive place. So when that guy cuts you off in traffic, Instead of being annoyed and reactive and flipping him off, which most of us do anyway at some point, I mean, we are human, but instead of being triggered most of the time, <laughs> we find ourselves in a place of being able to simply observe what's happening. With that, we can just slow down and see what the crazed driver is doing and sit back and laugh rather than flying off the handle, yelling, or becoming super annoyed by, say, you know, the car in front of you going super slow. My ex used to ride up the butt of the car in front of us all the time, and he'd be so annoyed at them for going slow, and I would just have to sit back and keep my lips sealed and observe because my reacting to his reactions and his annoyance at what could be a grandma in the car ahead of us also wasn't going to help the situation either. I mean, I'm totally guilty of doing the same, so it just is what it is, but with that example, we can see that there's always a ripple effect within each reaction and reaction as well. Once again, everything is connected. So if we truly want to be disruptors and break patterns that cause disease and dis-ease throughout life, we must come back to the breath. We must use a plethora of tools and techniques to consistently reset our parasympathetic nervous systems to respond to life rather than react to any situation. I mean, I could give a 100,000 examples, small and large, about how what we do, whether we are aware or not, and how it negatively affects our own life and therefore the, the lives of those around us. But for now, let's take a quick look at an option to use anytime, anywhere. Because when we're stressed, triggered, or feel fearful in any way, we might not be at home in a place where we can just stop, drop, and do our practices. Now, it is important to do your practices daily because it's exactly the same as running and training for a marathon. We're building a muscle. We're imprinting a habit and practicing a response. We're just instead training for life. And to circle back can be super simple. Take a moment. 
take a moment to breathe. Breathe deeply in through your nose into the base of the belly, expanding on all four sides of the body, the lower belly, the lower back, the hips, expanding on that inhale, and then exhaling gently through the mouth. Repeat that four times. Repeat that 10 times. Practice that on your drive to work. Practice that on your drive home from work. Of course, nice to practice it sitting with your eyes closed in a quiet environment, but also great to practice in the depths of a really intense conversation. Repeat the practice until you feel more relaxed, more at ease, and more in tune to what's really going on and what really actually matters rather than whatever whirling dervish of a ride your mind just took you on. Now, always easier said than done. (laughs) But when we do move into some of the more deeper breath practices, you really can shift your state to a really amazing place where whatever was going in your head really doesn't matter to you anymore. But on the daily, that's it. Just practice in through the nose, expanding through the lower body, exhaling gently through the mouth. You can also drop into a super quick and simple practice popping up at the end of this video right about now. So that's it for now. That might be it for this week. Schedules are great, but sometimes we have to drop out and go with the flow a little bit. It's always a delicate balance between the two and it will ebb and flow yet remain consistent. So I'll be back soon. Thanks for hanging out with me here. The intention of these videos during these wild times is to support anyone in need. We need your clear mind, healthy body, bright eyes, and open heart now more than ever. With that, please like and share this video as that one small action can support another in need today. Until next time, keep breathing and be well.